Hello, I'm Mike Shavaro with Munson Engineering Company. Been with the company now 11 years. Today we are talking about energy savings. One of the biggest things you can do for saving energy is turning the lights off. How many times at home do you yell at your kids to turn the lights off? One of the easiest things to get those lights turned off automatically is to install an occupancy sensor. Occupancy sensors are nothing more than a light switch with a motion detector in them. You can buy them at any Home Depot, Lowe's, for anywhere from $20 to $50, depending on the settings you'd like to have from time settings of how long they stay on, or photo cells. Um, they're real simple to put in. It's only two wires plus a ground. Um, if you want to have an electrician put in, he's probably going to bill you somewhere around $100, but it's real simple. You can put it in yourself. I'd like to be able to go over with you just briefly on how easy it is. I have one apart here that we can put together together. First thing you want to do, obviously, is make sure the circuit breaker is off so that you don't have any electricity. Um, as you can tell, we've already had one taken apart. Um, and it's just basically remove your old switch plate, your old switch, and remove the three wires, a hot, neutral, and ground. Basically, in this situation here, the white goes up to the light, the black is your power. So line is your power, so black will go to line, the white to the light is load and then obviously green is your ground. Now our line and load is connected. Most importantly, we want to make sure that the ground is connected. God forbid there's a short, there's your protection. Then it's just, just like placing a regular light switch in. Line everything up and very gently push it in. Once we have it all back together, then you through the manuals just read how to set it up, whether it be a photo cell or timed off. Most office buildings set them for about a half an hour. Um, I know of some people that actually put them in their homes. They set them up for 15 minutes, mainly because the kids are so quick in and out of their rooms. Okay, just to recap what we did, is we basically shut the power down, removed our light switch, disconnected the three wires, your hot, neutral, and ground, and we picked up a occupancy sensor from a local distributor, Lowe's, Home Depot, and we installed it just like we took the light switch out, just in reverse order. Now we'll go through the manual, set up the time frames as to how long we'd like it to stay on after a person leaves the room, and you're all done.